Under Grand Prince Dmitri, Moscow had grown rich and allied itself with old adversaries. Together, the Rus allies were ready to challenge the dominance of the Mongols and stopped paying them tribute. On the banks of the River Don, Dmitri would stake his life on being the first Rus leader to defeat the Horde in battle. Arriving at Kulikovo, Prince Dmitri and his army would rendezvous with allied forces from all principalities loyal to Moscow. Together, they would challenge more than a century of Mongol dominance. Before the battle, Dmitri would recruit soldiers from nearby villages. He would also ride to his allies who were awaiting their battle orders. The villagers pledged all the soldiers they could spare, strengthening Dmitri's position against the horde. Dmitri delivered the battle orders to his allies. They would take up position on the Smolka river forts and ready themselves for the enemy's arrival. With a loyal army assembled, Dmitri began the march north to meet the enemy in battle. Служите, рад, если. Поведу вы. Живу службы ради. 
Идти надо на поскору. Таков наказ есть. Восстаньте, воине! Ожидаю наказ. Дело на будет. Время действовать! Dimitri would oversee the battle with his own detachment of fighters, moving to support any Ford crossing that seemed at risk of being overwhelmed. As Mongol war drums sounded through the fog, Dimitri and his men steeled themselves for the arrival of the Horde. The Rus were emboldened by this first small victory and stood firm on the Smolka River, ready for the enemy's next attack. Civilians from the province, although unable to fight, vowed to construct defenses for Dmitri should he need to fall back from the northern forts. villages had finished constructing a line of defenses, which Dmitri could choose to fall back to if he lost the forts. Служите рад, если... Сейчас... Направлю... Укажите цель мне. Каков? Постанете, воине! Приготовляйтесь, будь идти надо на войне! Время идти, идти надо на поскору, таков наказ есть! Готов, если служите! Приготовляйте... Готовы будете, воины! Вижу ворога! Сэм, приготовьтесь, Аннана! Приготовляйте оружие! Стреляйте их, да готовы будете! Восстаньте, воины! Восстаньте, воины! Ой, не наказ! Ой, не исполнил наказ! Наказы исполнили, Богу! Будете надо, давай! Не готовляйтесь, а наказы исполнили! 
Dmitry and his Rus allies held the forts and eliminated the Mongol vanguard. While the enemy regrouped after the initial skirmish, the prince ordered the Rus to fall back to the hilltop defenses behind them. As they retreated, nearby Rus provinces mustered additional forces to Dmitry's side. In planning to face the horde, Dmitri had called upon a cavalry detachment to stage an ambush. He received word that his reinforcements had begun to arrive and bided his time for the right moment to call them to battle. In desperation, Dmitri called in the cavalry force, even though they were not yet at full strength. Two great armies clashed in the fog, but Dmitri's men stood firm. With the terror of the horde on their doorstep, Rus villagers once again rushed to construct more defenses, this time on the banks of the Don River. Let's 
Joseph stands up. numbers dwindled as the Rus struck down their ranks. Seeking an even stronger position, Dmitri ordered his forces to fall back to the Don River, where his allies had constructed new defenses. As the Rus fell back, a fresh detachment of reinforcements joined the fight. Готовы будете, воины! Выступайте доблестно, воины! Приготовляйтесь, об... долг не есть время! Приготовляйте, идти надо на поскору, таков есть! To the River Don, the Rus held their ground in a last stand against their ferocious enemy.
In the last gasps of the desperate battle, the Rus would not back down. It would be victory or death. Станете воине, подни ценаказа ожидают. На доме будете воине. Приготовляйтесь, наказы исполняйте. Поведу вы. Иди надо на поскору. Таков наказ есть. For the first time in over a hundred years of subjugation, the armies of the Rus defeated the Mongols in battle. For three days and nights, Prince Dmitri buried the fallen in the fields of Kulikovo. He became known as Donskoy, the victor at the River Don.